Good afternoon, I'm Ren Wadsworth and this is your nonstop local news update. Missoula Aging Services is reminding people that Medicare will not call you looking for personal or account information. This comes after the organization received information about scams, about a scam that is currently active and is targeting older adults in Montana. According to the report from MAS, several individuals received multiple calls from someone claiming to be from Medicare. However, the Aging Services is reminding recipients that Medicare does not need to verify your information and will never ask for personal information over the phone. Statewide Senior Medicare Patrol Program Director Renee LeBrace Shanks shared the following, quote, Medicare will never call people on Medicare to ask for or check their Medicare numbers. As with any unsolicited call, do not give personal information over the phone, whether it's your Medicare number, Social Security number, bank account information, or your full birthday. Scammers are looking for missing pieces of information to steal your identity, end quote. Liberate Shanks... LeBray Shanks added, to protect yourself from scammers, do not answer your phone if you don't recognize the number. If it's important, they will leave a voicemail. Also, always read your Medicare summary notices or Medicare Advance EOBs, especially if you've been receiving calls like this. It may indicate you've already been targeted. If you believe that you have been a victim of this scam or Medicare fraud, you are urged to call the Montana Senior Medicare Patrol at the number or website on your screen right now. And for the better part of yesterday, the St. Ignatius area experienced technical difficulties and interruptions with Verizon services. This also impacted the St. Ignatius Police Department and other first responder devices that operated using Verizon. Today, however, the Police Department shared this post, alerting that reception bars have slowly begun to reappear on several devices. The department is hopeful that normal operations will resume again shortly and thank everyone impacted for their patients. That's all for now, but we'll have more news updates for you as the day goes on, so make sure to check back in for more. I'm Ren Wadsworth. Thanks for tuning in to your nonstop local news.